Hi gamers, today is a very special day in the world of Warcraft for today the Traveler's Log has come out or the Traveler's Post. It is pretty awesome, so if you don't know, it's basically like kind of a little free battle pass thing they put into WoW to get special cosmetic rewards for playing the game and dear mama Jesus, there's a lot of people who want to get into this thing. First of all, so I've done very little, ooh, ooh, I get a thousand? I'm on ask, but... Um, basically you get to do special little things to just get rewards and if I can pull up the menu I'll show you review the traders post log read the section about goods I'm not gonna actually read any of this crap um, so the point of today's video is to go over specifics about what is gonna be offered here I did a little bit of research but not a whole lot to the point where I won't get too spoiled now for the love of God, I can't find an NPC in here to talk to. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Hello. Move. Here we go. Oh, cool. We got it. Okay. So, you can get cool awards with it. For instance, this right here, the most expensive thing on the menu today, the Celestial Steed, is a store mount. So, all of you people who've been mad about store mounts, now you can get them for free. Um, I don't know if it's going to be necessarily something that's like a, every month we're going to have a store mount, but I think that's pretty awesome if you ask me i don't own this one i don't really like it to be honest with you so i'm not gonna get it but i think it's pretty cool so we're gonna go through each and every one of the rewards we can get okay by the way this is my mage bunt i i've yet to introduce him it's one of the new many new faces you'll see on the channel as of i i have like five seventies and counting at this point but this flail pretty cool if you i don't know have a warrior or a shaman or something i bet that's cool garlock this little guy i mean what else is there to say? He's freaking awesome. We've got a swashbuckling pirate transmog, which I'm not gonna lie, I think I might really need to get this. This thing um, is a spear that I'm definitely going to be getting. It looks really cool for an arcane mage, which um, Bunt is. And uh, uh, by the way, play as much of Careless Whisper as you can without getting copy strike. Everyone meet my son. This is um, Bartholomew Mucus. That's my son. He's a good boy. Operatives Band Oiler. <laughs> I think this looks kind of stupid, to be honest with you. I mean, you've got a few little things. It looks kind of stupid. And this is just in a different color. I, I don't, good for a rogue, I guess. I don't really like it. Shard of Frozen Secrets is a dagger. It looks kind of bad. I don't like it that much. This bow genuinely looks amazing. This bow is really freaking cool looking. Then we got the Rosy Corsage. What is going on here? Hide armor. Oh! Oh yeah, the, this thing is like a wrist piece, a cosmetic wrist piece. We've not really been doing that a whole lot in WoW lately, but but this hammer is so basic that I like it. It looks like Thor's hammer. Like if you want to cosplay Thor, go for that. Here, I, I in a weird way, I like this. Not so much, maybe more so for a female character, but this looks pretty cool. Then this, I guess, is like the same version of it without a hood over it. So that's kind of, I don't know, uh, offhand, whatever. It's kind of stupid. And this cloak, which I think is really stupid. So got a lot of options here and you can i don't know why i automatically have 1k um tinder but you get traders tinder for completing stuff on the like the battle pass like thing so real quick i'm no i for sure want this for shizzle and what else can i get um so i'm gonna save up and get this stuff so for now i did want to for sure get the swashbuckling so you may be asking yourself soloist why am i watching this video but also you may be asking yourself Soloists, how do I get Trader's Tinder? Well, I'll show you how to get Trader's Tinder. All you have to do is hit Shift J to pull up this daggone pretty menu right here. This is what it's like a battle pass for. You build up points here. You do things to get points. You can unlock this freaking cool mount that changes colors if it's day or night. That is pretty stinking awesome. But there's tons of stuff you can do. And when I first had this video idea, I was like, hey, I'm going to make a video of me just going through and doing all of the Trader Tinder stuff and just get a lot of stuff in one video. Defeat 25 raid bosses, defeat, uh, complete 15 mythic dungeons, uh, complete 30 quests. This is a lot more grindy than I thought, but there are some special ones that are pretty fun. For instance, I have two checked right here. This one, we got to show some love to some people. It is February after all. February is not only known as the birthday of the best streamer ever, me, but it is also the month of love. First, we're going to show some love to the love trading post. Wait. Show some love to the trading post. Right here, you. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to target you. Did I get him? No. Oh my god, I wish these people would leave. Got him. Okay, slash love. And that's all you gotta do. Slash love. There we go. Mount loved. Where's the mount, though? Am I blind? 
I mean, this isn't it, is it? I mean, this is just a player on the mount. Can I just love a player that's on the mount? No. Oh, it's over here. We loved that. And trading post pet love. Where would the trading post pet be? Oh my god, what if it's in the mist mess here? Oh, no, 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 no. Here he is, here he is. Slash love. Boom. And we got some tender just like that. Some chicken tenders, baby. All you got to do is love some people and you get some chicken tenders. So now, the more important one, we are going to head now to Valdraken to love the important people. And I'm not kidding when I say that. We are going to love them. And when it comes time to love Alexandra, um, I'm going to need a minute. So these are probably the two that you can just do right away and get out of the way to get some quick tendies. I'm going to call them trading tendies because tendies are a lot more fun. So I believe they are up here. I don't really have too much of a reason to talk to these bozos a lot anymore. Here we are. Okay. It wants us to love Caligos. Knows Dormu. Let's love him first. He's stupid. He's my least favorite. Caligos is kind of cool. I need a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Women love power gum. It's not sponsored, but hey there. Alex Straza, or <laughs> should I call you Traza? <laughs> no, we're not there yet. Whatever. Have I told you? I mentioned just how much I, just how much I love you. <laughs> so there we go, more tendies. Okay, I'm gonna pretend none of that happened, but um, we get a hundred tendies if we get here, 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 and here. How many tendies do I have right now? Is there a way to check that? So I got 350. I need 500 for my staff. No big issue. One of the trading tender things is earning 7,500 honor. Which, if you don't know, I'm primarily a PvP player now. Like this one, I'll definitely probably get today. These are fun to get. If you do PvE or PvP, you're still going to get tendies. It doesn't really matter. I'm not sure how it works out to get the mount unlock every month. As you can see, it expires in 27 days, so you got all month to do it. So what we're going to do now is enter into a random battleground to end this video off with some pure chaos. Okay, so the queue is popped. I totally wasn't about to say something else there. So... Again, this is just one of the many ways to get um, tendies. I'm going to do this because PvP is fun. And I'm not the most geared in PvP. Um, I'm a, I'm kind of a casual PvPer. 419 um, PvP item level is not bad. My mage is definitely who I feel best on in PvP. So we're going to see how this goes. This is going to be pretty funny. Eventually, I will do a mage PvP video. But uh, for now, this is just all you get. And let's rate that mog, people. Like, holy cow, you got those... You got those conquest shoulders and wrists, some random pants I don't even know. My son on the back, Bartholomew Mucus, is going to just watch us do all of this. Also, pay attention to him when we get into a battle. He's going to do this really cool thing where he goes in his egg and hides. And by cool, I mean cute, so you need to watch that and keep out for it. If I sound a little bad, it's because I'm sick, but sickness doesn't get in the way of me and you viewers. I love you. Listen, me and you here, this is a lifelong commitment. Me and you viewers. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Ring the bell. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me home. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Actually, scratch that last part. Okay, here we go. So if you're doing Battle for Gilneas, you know you're trying to get some tendies. Maybe you're not used to doing battlegrounds. You're just trying to get some quick tendies. Go Waterworks. And if that doesn't work, wait till the game ends because you've lost. Some people are not going to be able to sense the sarcasm in that. Okay, here we go. And so Mage, first thing you want to do, pop that in Viz. Okay, you good? You good? No one can see you now. On a target, easy target. Pop Mass in Viz. You can pop Ring of Frost without anybody seeing it. Miss everybody. Let's get some... Uh, okay, that sucks, Wiener. Um, let's see here. Okay, no problem, no problem. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Gonna pop that. I have no idea what's going on. There's so many... Okay, pop lock. Confused, pop lock. I have no idea what's going on. Holy crap. Army of the Dead just, like, clutters up my UI, and I, I'm just like, where am I at? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just have a, I don't know what I'm doing. Reset. Here we go. Okay, so Waterworks is being um, still fought over. What the heck? Looks like we're pushing uh, mines, so let's go mines. So this time, for real, I'm going to show you properly how to open with a mage. I mean, it's not even a, a class thing. That was totally a me thing. As soon as I see all those health bars for Army of the Dead pop up, I'm just like, I have no idea what's going on. So pop invis again. Got to get in there. Mass invis is ready. Pop it. Nobody will be able to see this. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, we get the Death Knight. That's good. And bam, bam. Throw out two Arcane Blasts after one tick of that. Let's get away for a second. Throw out one of these. Throw out one of these. I know it's very good instructions. One of these, one of these. And it's still going to end bad because that was a 4v1. Um, so don't charge in alone. And look at that details. The burst is huge. I just wanted to show off my opener and show you I could do it. Someone in the chat said, well, this is a loss. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so the keynote for Battlegrounds PvEers who are new to this. First of all, listen to anyone but me. Second of all, go where your people are. People are at Waterworks. Let's go to Waterworks. All right. So maybe this time I can throw out a ring of fire and just get some big ticks going. Let's do that. Hopefully we won't get auto-focused. Um, throw out one of these. And 
try to pop a ring of frost on somebody let's throw up a radiant spark and start hitting them with some of these pop off a little bit throw out an arcane orb and bam dead see that simple start an arcane orb arcane orbs build up these little charges super fast and now we can spam arcane missiles or arcane blast and kill them with arcane missiles dude what did i tell you man what did i tell you for those of you who know what i'm talking about that's all it is you just keep distance you spam stuff what i like to do to kite is spam arcane barrage and counter spell um that helps this isn't a mage guide though so i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna shut up and die apparently someone in the chat said we need heals and another mage went <laughs> heals machine broken <laughs> all right to the mine working in a coal mine work what's that song how's that go i don't even know so lately i've been on a diet and i've been working out which i'm not used to i've lost some weight i feel better my energy is really high but i've cut off eating after 8 p.m pretty pretty solidly and like i'm of course i'm severely sick so last night i last night i took nyquil before i went to bed because of course i'm sick i have to do that i ended up having some of the weirdest dreams ever and i promise it has to do with my diet because my dreams I had dreams about food and it was really weird dreams about food so the first dream i had first of all first dream I had is that we were all gathered at my grandmother's house and one half of my family was there and the other half of my family was there and one was trying to kill the other it was really weird and kind of like a horror movie kind of thing but like out of nowhere you know how dreams go where they randomly like become okay um well it randomly became okay and I everyone was just chilling everyone was just chilling hanging out having a good time and I got hungry in my sleep so in my dream I went to the cupboard and got a zebra cake those are what I got and I ate one and I was like this is so good and then me and my dad started talking we're talking about dinner next thing I know I'm at a Walmart I'm going down the beer aisle don't drink anymore so I went right by it I'm glad my dream self didn't want any beer I was really proud of myself but I find frozen pizza and I shit you not the last 30 minutes of my dream was me trying to pick between what frozen pizza I wanted I woke up today and thought hungry <laughs> With that said, your opener would normally be that into an Arcane Surge. You pretty much do that so you can hit Arcane Surge um, because Arcane Surge is really kickable and really, really easy to avoid. So you just got to make sure you put them out of commission to do it. If you can get away with Arcane Blast Spam, that ramps up damage like crazy. Like, check this out. If you get off a proc Arcane Missile with the talent build I have, your next two Arcane Blasts are supercharged. And I got warrior. That's the thing about PvP. Battlegrounds and arenas are two very different animals. If you're starting to get into this, just like be weary. But we're not here to do good. We're here to get honor. And you can be super bad at PvP. The big thing to take away from this, you can be super bad at PvP and still grind that honor. So if you're like a little sick of doing PvE and still got a few more tendies to go, hop in a battleground, get in a Discord with your friends, goof off, talk about dreaming about food, and then bada bing bada boom, there you go. You got freaking chicken tendies and you're riding on a cool mount all day your friends hate you and you're the coolest friend in the ballpark and every time dodgeball's played you're gonna get picked and no one's ever gonna tell you that you are lame or ugly or fat and no one will ever ever not love you again get the tendies okay and it's over okay that's fine listen still get honor for that you still get honor for that so go in do some stuff get some stuff it's gonna be great bada beam bada boom baby we got 366 honor out of 7500 doesn't seem like that much but we lost and it was a pretty bad loss i didn't get to kill a lot of people imagine a win imagine a win where you get to pop off that does happen even if you're not very used to pvping and don't have any gear it will happen you will have wins and you will have games where you get carried by your team to a big win so do that battle pets i'm glad there's a holiday and events tab because this actually gives me incentive to do the holiday stuff for once so that's really awesome actually Dungeons and Raids. If you're progging Vault of the Incarnates, you're going to be doing this. So don't even worry about it. Like 25 raid bosses. That doesn't say specifically to do Dragonflight raid bosses. So that could include doing Legacy Raids. Um, and that makes me think that because you go down here and it says kill 10 Dragonflight raid bosses. So I think if you're farming like ICC to get Invincible or farming anything, this is going to happen. And those are so easy to do. You can one tap most things. So just go do it. And then Dragonflight. Some easy stuff here too guys the traders log is actually genuinely a really cool addition to this game if you don't like it ignore it it's not required at all it's purely cosmetic um i'm really excited to grind at this it gives me something to tick away and do every single day in the game and i love it and if you love it if you want any more tips on this just let me know comment down below and i'll try to tell you anything i know about the traveler's log but until then i'm gonna go get to work on some of this stuff and maybe not do so bad in my next battleground Soloist does not have a good outro. So...